we're going to spend some time learning the overhead squat. This is a, a tool that we use a lot that a lot of people are really intimidated by and there's not a lot of reason to be uh, so scared of it. What we're going to do today is we're going to take you guys step by step through a uh, uh, progression that we use that has helped a lot of people start to feel the correct position mainly in the shoulders for the overhead squat. That's really what the kind of important thing to focus on when you're overhead squatting. You have weight overhead, so how do you hold this weight uh, in a strong supported position? Um, what we're going to talk about is how to externally rotate our arm, but mainly how to externally rotate while we hold weight. So for the overhead squat, you're going to want to grab a PVC pipe. Find a, what we call a snatch with grip. Uh, this is gonna set the bar about as high as your hips. I'm gonna have you push the PVC out in front of you. And like you're trying to bend the bar in half, you're gonna twist through the arm. And if you can see what's happening, as I twist, the inside of my elbows start to face up. Once you find that position, you'll notice that your shoulders are a little bit more active and they're kind of packed down. Now we're going to lift the pipe overhead and try to maintain this position. What we're trying to avoid is this kind of misconception that you have to be active and shrugged up. You notice when I do that, I internally rotate the arm and now the inside of my elbow is pointing forward and my shoulders are up. And this is much harder to control weight. Again, PVC in front. Twist, hold overhead. So if someone's standing in front of you, they should be able to see the inside of your armpits pretty well, and the inside of your elbows are facing overhead. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a medicine ball, anything that works for you to, to sit on uh, comfortably, and we're gonna find the bottom position of our squat. So depending on how, uh, how good your squat mobility is right now, you might need to find something a little bit higher, something you can maintain a neutral spine. Knees out, chest up. Make sure your heels are tight to your butt. If you're not sure, try kind of squatting once or twice. Once you're sure that that's your squat position, take the PVC pipe and run through that same drill we just did. Twist and hold overhead. Now this is gonna be the bottom of your overhead squat. So the reason this is kind of a cool way to try this is you can actually feel what it's like to be in the bottom position and, and do so unloaded as well. You'll notice that from the side, that pipe should be over my head, shoulders, hips, and heels. Now, on our way to standing, we're gonna drive some weight into our heels and you're gonna to try to lean forward as minimally as possible and stand up. Don't bother squatting down just yet. Sit down again, reset, try again. I want you to do this a few times and at the top, what I want you to do is check your arm position. You should notice that the elbow pit's still facing up. If it's not, there's a good chance that you are driving your chest forward, losing that good shoulder position and standing up in a bad position. Or the other way that we see people kind of get around doing this well is they will lean up like that. If this had any weight to it, that wouldn't work out so well. Try this a few times. Really be hard on yourself about cranking into that bar and making sure your arms are in that good position. And once you think that you're doing it well enough, then you can try starting from the bottom, standing and squatting again. So bottom position, set. Stand up, check the arms, push your hips back, keep your chest upright, squat to the bottom, check your arms again. If at some point you notice you've lost position, now you can start to figure out where things are going wrong. Real quick, the main thing that really holds people back for their overhead squat isn't the shoulders. Once you find that position, it's pretty easy to start to maintain. The problem is, uh, issues in, in the, the squat, the air squat. Issues that you can get away with when, when you're doing this unloaded or even with a back squat. The biggest thing that we see is lack of ankle flexibility. What'll happen if I'm not able to get my shins forward, watch what happens when I push them back, you see my hips come up. Now if you imagine I have a bar overhead, so if you've ever tried overhead squatting and you notice you're driving your chest forward 
and that bar is really unstable, this is probably your issue, and this is why I would suggest trying this bottom-up approach.